I've seen that people just wake up and write fake stories about me and you all believe. You know, I've seen fake stories on those PF blogs to say, Chela says he will finish your PND. Where did I say I'm going to finish your PND? My fight is to see that the cost of minimum, the cost of fuel, the cost of living comes down. I have no fight against your PND. That, look, I'll tell you, when a president becomes uh, a, a president of the country, He's no longer a president of a political party. He's a president for all the Zambians. Whether they are PF, whether they are UPND, whether they are FDD, whether they are, whether they are MMD, whether they are a socialist, he's a president of all the Zambians. And all the Zambians can complain and cry when things are not okay. And that is simply what I'm doing to say the cost of minimum, the cost of fuel is high. But now I've seen that people are just writing stories, you know, fake stories. And uh, people seem to be believing those stories, man. People seem to be believing those stories. Oh, you need to be, you need to be taking verifying facts. You know, I've seen some blogs and because they just tagged my name, Chela Tuguta Photography and stuff, you will believe. You believe. Like, do you have to... Like, man, I'm reading at some of the stories, I'm like, which Chela are they talking about? You know? Uh, the bank, Shan, you call the bank, you call loan family. loan family. Shapo kero, you know, you know, quite at your at ah, uh, shap na pokele fan loan ku family yo. I do not belong to any political organization, as it is. I think I made it clear. And uh, but PF, your way of doing politics is the reason why some of us can't associate with you. I can't associate with the, with, with, with the PF because of the way you do politics. You don't... Look, even if... Uh, it's not about... Sometimes I have to justify myself because if I don't justify myself, there are people who are gullible who just believe in any lies around. And people don't even take time to... Like, I have seen some people just... They will just go, someone will write a blog about me Chela has said this and people and people begin to to comment there hey is this is what is oh man is that how you want to grow your numbers no that's the wrong way to grow your numbers <laughs> find another way of uh, of uh, you know uh, find a way of uh, of growing your numbers not by spreading lies, okay? But uh, the thing is that we all want... I personally would love to see that, uh, the, the, you know, the government works on reducing the cost of living because the, the cost of living is, is high. You know, the cost, the cost of living has gone up. So... Uh, Ama na nikani area. Ama ama commodities like cooking oil, sugar, eh, you know these basic commodities that every household needs. Um, you know need uh, need to be reduced. That's what we need. They need to be reduced, and uh, we want to have a, a good country. I mean, we, had, we, we cried when Milimi was at 120. We cried. What more? Milimi was at uh, 350. Maybe the ministers should help the president explain to the country what is going on. If the ministers don't explain, the problem I have seen is that ministers are not explaining. I've only seen Honorable Chipoka Mulenga doing his best, explaining to the people. 
the rest of the ministers they are quiet there are only a few ministers speaking you can hear of maybe honorable mwimbu speaking the rest of the ministers are not helping the situation we are in the dark we don't know what's going on will milimi ever reduce to such and such a price we don't know if it will keep increasing we should know fuel fuel we were told to say there were a lot of middlemen that's why fuel was expensive so now we are in charge okay now there is a, a government that doesn't believe in uh, middlemen fuel is at 35 uh, kwacha these are the complaints look I'll tell you something people say oh when you are in government you are quiet and all those things I still used to speak the problem is you chose to, 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 to say uh, when I spoke you said hey a diplomat can't be speaking about such and such things I condemned ministers here for, for forgetting the people in the, in the grassroots for not helping people for not offering solutions I condemned ministers here and the PSS and what did you say you told me hey a diplomat you should stick to your job okay that's what you told me Hello, footy. In his four, we can have a lala. Okay. So there are people. There are people who will remember, and there are people who choose not to remember. To say, oh, Chela spoke about these things and some of these things, but you chose not. You choose not to remember because you are bitter. Mwalim pata. Mwaliba bitter. Mwe be nyai. Mwaliba bitter. Mwaliba bitter. Mo mwe ba ba bitter. Because mwalim pata fita. Umuntu ali mpata tai zvano vya mpatira. Eh, umuntu ali mpata fie. Umuntu ali mpata fie. I've got the right to complain. When things are not okay, I've got the right to complain. And I will complain. And you see, the beauty is that even when you... Eh... Even when you... 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 You talk about me like that, or you, 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 you know, you attack me. The fact is that you still follow me. In a, I don't follow you, but you, you follow me. Meaning, meaning, I'm, I'm, I've got influence over your life. The fact that you follow me and I don't follow you shows you to say that I am an influence. I, I influence you. I mean, for you to be commenting on my post, I don't comment on your post, but you, you comment on my post. It means I influence your life. Whether you comment negative or positive, whether you comment negative, I'm not going to talk about the people who comment positive things because those are my lovely, amazing fans. I love them. Thank you very much. But also, as a person who's in the limelight, I don't expect everyone to agree with me. And I don't need everyone to agree with me. And that is what leadership is about. Leadership is, should not be that everyone should agree with you, okay? Uh, I need to, when, I, I should not keep quiet just because, oh, I was given a job. Oh, I benefited this and that. No, a job should not be something that buys your integrity or buys your who you are. No, the truth is that the cost of me living is high. Whether I got a job or I misused my opportunities, this has nothing to do with Chela misusing his opportunity. This has everything to do with the fact that Milimil is expensive. This has to do with the fact that fuel is expensive, sugar is expensive. Things are not okay. So, whether you call me a menomeno, you call me whatever it is, whether you call me men or men, it won't change the fact that fuel is 35 kwacha. Whether you call me ungrateful, it won't change the fact that fuel uh, minimum is 350 kwacha. It won't change that fact. Can we focus on changing the prices, on reducing the, the price of these commodities? Okay? Let's look at reducing the price of these commodities. Simple. Okay? Let's reduce the price of this commodity chapwa that is my cry so when people are saying chela is is fighting uh, 
uh, is fighting the president, Chela is fighting you, PND, Chela is fighting. I'm not fighting government. I'm not fighting the president. I'm not fighting anyone. I am fighting the cost of living. That is my fight. My fight is to see that minimum is reduced. My fight is to see that fuel is reduced. I am not fighting anybody. But Dao people who think that I am fighting. No, 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 no. I mean, you're Dao. You must be Dao for you to think that I'm fighting government. For you to think I'm fighting. No, no, I'm not fighting government. Who am I to fight government? Government is the people of Zambia. Why should I fight the people of Zambia? You people don't understand that government is you, the people of Zambia. That's why they say a, a government for the people, by the people. It's not a government of a few individuals, no. It's a government for the people. Who are the, who are the government? The government are you the citizens. I am the government. Let me educate you in case you did not understand your civics. Let me understand, let me teach you civics that you didn't understand in school. Muni civics, government is the people of Zambia. Who are the people? We are the government. We choose leaders to represent, to hold positions in the executive, the legislature, and also in the in the in the what do we call this in in the parliament that Chinese yeah, yeah government the yeah, legislature it should be parliament yeah? the laws the law the law the law, the law, the law yeah, yeah the, oh judiciary yes executive judiciary and legislature so. Uh, what happens now is that we the people of Zambia we vote for people to feel from our citizens from amongst our citizens we vote for people that will go and fill the positions of the executive who are the the, the president the presidency and the cabinet then you have the law, then you have the, the lawmakers who are the, who are the parliamentarians. Then you have a, a, then you have the, you know, the judiciary, okay, justice. So, all these are things we learned, Muni Civics. So, when you say, oh, government will fix you, government will fix Chela, how? If government is going to fix Chela, government is just fixing itself. Because Chela is part of government. Okay? Whether I am not functioning in any position, I am part of government. Okay? So, my view and my opinion is that we have representatives who we have to complain to because for you to assume the position of power and position of whatever positions whether mp whatever it is you come with a, a promise and you tell the people to say this is what i'll do so those are things we must remind our leaders to say we were promised to say the price of millimil will reduce to this price the price of fuel will reduce to this price why are we not getting that and we expect answers simple that is the only thing so you cannot say i am an enemy for reminding if you remind me if i told you to say okay when you come to my studio i'll give you two pictures you should remind me that you promised me two pictures why are you giving me one 